So I've had some time using the new canopy front windshield and back window on this Gator. And I have to say I'm not overly thrilled with it. Uh, the canopy and the support frame shakes a lot while you're driving it. And, uh, you know, it's not real sturdy. And in turn, what happens is the front window and the back window will slide down. Uh, so the whole thing is, is real wobbly and it makes everything move around a lot. So what that means is we're going to have to modify. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. My name is Chris and I'm, today we're going to go over installing a canopy on a gator. So we bought this new project gator. Uh, this is a TS model, which is very similar to the gator uh, that we had before, the 4x2. Uh, we sold that one and we picked up this one. Uh, I've already done some work to it. I didn't do a bunch of videos showing you because I've already shown you uh, on the uh, other Gator series that I did. Um, I showed you a bunch of work that I did, so I didn't want to duplicate that. I will leave a card up here uh, right above you right now if anybody hasn't seen that series and would like to check it out. So. Um, being that this gator is newer, uh, we've decided to accessorize it some. Um, it has enough value in it. So what we're gonna be working on installing today is one of these guys. Sorry for the heater noise, it's cold out and we got the heater running. So we're gonna install one of these canopies. Uh, it's for a TS or TX model. They're pretty much the same, um, but we did get the roof there's a front windshield that will fold up to let air in if you want. And there's also a back window. We got the back window as well. So uh, this is not a factory John Deere part. Uh, this is an aftermarket. Um, so again, we're gonna show you the installation of that today. There's a couple holes to drill and things. So uh, stay tuned for that. Here's the instructions and whatnot. Here is the roof. Uh, it is almost the same color green in the camera it looks almost the same this actually looks a tiny bit darker and there's no sheen to it it's just a plastic plastic roof so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some like armor all or see what i have over on the shelf and i'm going to coat this up shine it up a little bit and not only will that make it match the gator a little bit better being shiny but it will also uh, help protect from uv rays and maybe it won't fade uh, quite so quickly okay so here's a little pile we collected our various tools. They tell you what tools and drill bits you're going to need. And we are ready to start. Uh, you got to drill some holes. First thing you do got to do is get this hood off. So on this gator, you can come down here and uh, right in here, it just pops out. You can see there's, I know it's dark, there's a little nub there. And then the hood pops off. Okay, so we got the hood off, and the next step, they give you a template, and you gotta line the template up on the hood here. Arrow towards the driver's side, you can see the little tabs, they line that up, and then we gotta mark some holes and drill two holes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark and drill these. Doing this makes me nervous. I hate drilling holes in a hood like this. If you get them just a little off position or something, now you got holes that you gotta put up with. Okay, so the next step involves putting this bracket under the hood. Um, it's kind of sketchy as to how you line it up. Uh, and of course they give you black and white pictures. So I kind of did the best I could here to line it up. And you can see there's three holes in the bracket. Um, and uh, I had my helper here, my one son's with me. He drew some circles where those holes are, and now we drill them out uh, with a 932nd drill bit. Okay, we got our three holes drilled, and uh, what we're gonna do now, uh, one note, and it does say in the instruction, just be careful, there is a wiring harness here, so, uh, when you're drilling through, don't hit that. And uh, I don't know if you can see, there's metal shavings all over everywhere. So we're going to vacuum that up and then we'll move on to the next step. 
Okay, so we're gonna put our bracket on here. It says uh, quarter inch, inch and a half bolts. Uh, measure them because there are a few that are similar in size. Flat washer on top. And then uh, lock nut goes on the bottom. So we'll get these secured in place here and tighten down. All right, all the bolts are tightened down. I double checked, it says use the inch and a half. Uh, I'm not really thrilled with it because there is a lock nut. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to really see here. There's a nylon knock lock nut here and the threads don't even come out through the nut all the way. So I'm not sure if those are gonna stay tight, but I triple checked to make sure that was the bolts it said to use. They're all tight, so I don't know. Uh, next step it says is to reinstall the hood we just have to be careful now because these are going to be popping through the hood um, and it says to make sure that both the studs and the nuts are exposed through the hood so let's give this a try here studs are both tipped in some and this hood doesn't want to go down good so I don't want to break the hood this is definitely not an easy job here All right, it's a little dark here, but basically we're gonna do a side support. The machine already has those brackets there you can see with the three holes. We're gonna utilize this hole and this hole uh, are gonna line up with the two holes in that bracket. There's uh, two more of these washers with the rubber on them unfortunately the ones that came that they sent were too small so i had to drill them out to the right size and yep i double triple checked to make sure i was supposed to use them so uh yeah that was fun uh just something else to be aware of if you get one of these things that uh, i don't know if they sent the wrong parts or what but like even here now the bolt doesn't want to go in good I'm going to have to kind of screw it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, another fun fact. These bolts require a 9 16 inch wrench to put them on. Now in the instructions, do you see where it says you need a 9 16 uh, No. So I had to go and get those. Minor thing, however, it's just one of those things that waste time and they're not very careful about the directions and that's why I'm showing you guys this so you know. Now you need a 9 16 inch wrench. So this is where we're at so far. We basically got front and rear supports. All right, well now it's time to put the roof on, I guess. Um, there is a little bit of a they call it a seam where this black trim comes together and meets. They say to put that in the back. So let's see if we can get this thing set up on here. Apparently there are no supports running between the supports that are here. I thought there would be, but there's not. So I guess we just kind of set this thing on here. And then we got to line up some bolt holes. So uh, let me get the bolts together. 
Okay, this is really getting aggravating. Do you remember when we put the bracket on underneath the hood and I said that the nuts didn't hardly thread on to the bolt and that I triple checked that it said use inch and a half bolts? Right here. Here's the step, we drilled the hole. Here's the bracket we put on. It says quarter by 20 by inch and a half. So this little guy here is inch, oh, I'll get out of your way. That measures inch and a half. It's not, there, there you go, inch and a half. So this is what I used was three of these. Now, when you go to put the canopy on, you need eight of these, and now I am three short. So that means that these three bolts, that there was only three of them, uh, should have been used to secure this bracket. But that says inch and a half, and these are inch and three quarters. So these technically should have been used on the bracket under there. So luckily I have some of these laying around, these inch and a half quarters. Uh, so I'll have plenty to do the roof, but that leaves me underneath there. Um, now in order to get the hood off, I think you have to take those bolts off and kind of lift the windshield up. So I am uh, not happy at all with these instructions. And again, this is why I'm kind of doing this video so that people, if you want to install one of these things, you know, I hope you watch the whole video all the way through first. But uh, so now we have three bolts that are useless and I had to get three more. So now what we're going to do is take these bolts and we're going to come up underneath here. And I know the lighting's not great, I'm sorry, but there's a hole here and a hole here, and there's corresponding holes in this roof, and that's what we're going to do is get all of these lined up here. Okay, so the windshield goes on the inside of the frame, so you have to install these so that this is going to clip on the inside. So we take this piece, and there's no set area that you put it, so we're just gonna put it down a little bit and we work it in there like that. Same thing on the bottom. We'll come up a little bit from the bottom, work it in there. And then this actually has some two-sided tape. So we'll peel that guy off. Same thing here. We'll peel this guy off like that. All right. And the fun continues. So I'm trying to put the back windshield on, which snaps on with just four little plastic clamps, I guess. And if you take note in the picture here, the edge of the wind, the back window is completely vertical on this side and completely vertical on this side. Okay, so my GoPro battery died. So yes, the windshield back window looks completely square on the sides. The one that they sent me, I don't know if you guys can see what all this junk, so, do you see the edge of that? This has an angle on it, and I've tried fitting this on that back window every which way I can, but if you notice, both posts are completely vertical. There's no angle there whatsoever. I'm not sure... I've tried it all different ways and I can't get it to fit. I went online and looked at the picture. The picture online shows vertical sides and of course they're closed right now. I tried calling them. So I guess we're gonna try putting on the front windshield now and see what happens there. So as the fun continues, I'm peeling off this kind of coating paper stuff that they have on here. And I just peeled off the piece. There's a corner here. And there is just pieces ever it ripped all over the place. Trying to use my fingernail to get it off. It's almost like glued on there. I hope I'm not going to scratch the stupid thing. But if you look down here now, from here all the way down to the bottom is the same thing. It's on there like glue. So now I gotta waste another half an hour trying to get this off of here. So um, I guess when I get this 
junk cleaned off. I will come back to you and we'll try and install the window. Okay, I finally got most of the crap off the windshield and uh, just going to show you here. Uh, there's two clips that go on. Um, they don't have any tape on them. The ones for the rear window have tape and then there's basically an opening here. So in that little slit, position that and you're going to slide that all the way in there and then it just simply pushes on like that and then there's two rubber guys up here that uh, flop on so it looks like I have the window a little bit low so we'll see if we can just yep there we go we'll pick the other side up a little bit so I hope that doesn't mean since I can sit here and pick up on it I hope that doesn't mean as we're driving it's going to vibrate uh, and fall down, but there it is. I still got a little crap to clean off the window. And then I guess if you flip these two rubber pieces here back, this upper piece of the window will fold down and allow some air to come through on a hot day. So um, that's it for now. I got to talk to the... Uh, place that I bought it to try and straighten out the rear window and I will include that in this video so you know what happens so um yeah that's it for now all right it's been over a week and we're uh back here on this video on the gator project on the back window what a project it's been so the back window was incorrect we had a window that had this notch in it so i called the green dealer the company that i ordered this kit from and i explained the situation that uh told them exactly which gator we had what kit we ordered that we were not supposed to have this cutout in there. Uh, I didn't really feel that the guy listened to me very well. He said he'd look into it, get back to me in a day or so. Nobody called me back. A couple days later I called. He said, okay, we'll send you another one. So a uh, couple days after that, UPS shows up and uh, well, actually the weekend went by um, because by the time since the guy didn't call me back, by the time I called him back, it was Friday, so the new one didn't show up till Monday or Tuesday. So, finally got another one, great. Hey, let's get it installed. So, we get a new one. Here's the new one. See on my screen. So, this one still has the protective plastic on it, and there it is again, the same exact back window so I called him up again this time I was not as nice on the phone I'm losing my patience because I had thoroughly explained to him the first time exactly the gator we had and exactly the window we needed uh, he was very apologetic and uh, he said he'd look into it and he went out to the warehouse and he called me back 10 minutes later and he said, I opened the box and I found the exact one you needed and I'll ship it out that day. So two days later, we got another package and we got another window and here it is. We took the plastic off. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but there's a straight edge here and coming over to this side and there's a complete straight edge here and you'll see i'm going to show the final installation of this uh, back window here to this project we're going to show you here in just a minute but we have finally finally got the correct back window so we now have three back windows sitting here they have sent me two return shipping labels for ups to send these other two back so let me get set up here and we'll show you the final installation here on how to install the back window. 
Okay, so we just completed this step of putting our four brackets on. And now we're gonna move on to the final step of the rear windshield, which is installing it on the frame. So basically, we're just popping it on there. The only thing you wanna make sure of is you wanna make sure uh, the two angle pieces are angled towards the rear. And you wanna make sure that the one on the top is up above the roof line up here so that the water uh, can't get up there. So we're gonna show you that right now. Okay, it's installed. I don't know how well it's gonna stay. Um, as you can see here, nothing fits exactly square. And you know, if you pull on the window, it will kinda, it'll twist a little bit sideways. So I'm not sure if the vibration, if, if things are gonna stay. It's kinda the same thing with the front window uh, where it fits into these brackets. The front windshield has the ability to sort of move this way. So we're going to have to see what happens. I may end up having to get some um, Gorilla Glue two-sided tape and squeeze it in, you know, here and there in a couple of spots just to make sure it doesn't shift after, which is no big deal. I can do that and I'll keep you updated if that's the situation. Uh, and I can do the same thing here. Maybe put, uh, you know, a piece running here on each side and that'll hold it but uh, that should give some pretty good protection from rain blowing front and back and and whatever but we'll do an update on this uh coming up but there you go um that completes the installation process <laughs> i hope if you bought one of these or are thinking about buying one of these that you have watched the entire video here because there's a lot of little tips and tricks uh, things that we've discovered along the way installing this that will make your life a lot easier. I thought this was going to be a little bit more of a straightforward installation process than it was. Uh, you know, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as cut and dry as I thought it was going to be. Again, I will update you uh, on how things are holding up in a future video. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I post a video about uh, doing sort of an update on this and how it's holding up. Don't forget the thumbs up please. And uh, hey, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.